All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about two things, how to get berry leather and what's up with the hedge base. Um, the hedge base, I'm gonna show you right here what I'm talking about. A couple people have come across it and don't know how to get into it. So it's at this spot on your map, if you look. Um, so all this area is where you need to be in order to get berries and stuff like that for your berry leather, which is going to be your level two armors and weapons and stuff like that. You gotta have that berry leather. But on the other side of this, right outside of the map, there's this weird facility that's up in a uh, that's like up in a tree, but it's it's unopened. So let's hardcore parkour our way up there to uh, take a look. There's probably an easier way up here, to be honest. But you can't go up that way. You've got to go all the way up. Now that's one that's one thing that I love about this game is how open ended it is. How much like ex like see, normally you couldn't get up here because you can't build these bouncy things um, like these. Uh, where is it? You can't build the bouncy web just anywhere. Like if you were to get up that way, you can't actually build the bouncy web down there. So you have to parkour your way up here. And so now you're kind of out of bounds on the map. What is finished? You can go this way and check out some of the grassy area, but that's not what we're focusing on here. We are straight up focusing on this. Look at that, it's a base. Um, around here is some kind of closed door, but let's get a closer look at the base. Don't even need to boil it. As you can see, this base is just covered in these spiders. Um, but for me, I couldn't figure out for the longest time because you come across all these locked doors, right? And if you walk right up to this, you're gonna come up and see, hey, there's a locked door. I can't get in here. Why is this even in the game right now? I don't wanna deal with these spiders right now. Also, little secret right here when you jump down, I'm not gonna show you what's in there just because, you know, exploring, I don't wanna spoil anything. But the more you explore, the more you see there's a door that's also locked. So this is where you're going to get your berry leather, right here. So once you make it to this big fountain, you'll look up and you'll see all these different types of berries. So you have to make your way up and get these berries. They don't fall. You can't shoot them down with your bow and arrow. I've already tried. Um, I watched some like older, like I guess it was alpha footage where people could shoot the berries down. You can't do that anymore. So I'm going to show you the easiest way for me to get up here. First of all, you gotta you gotta find your way up onto this little ledge right here. There's multiple ways up here. You can kind of just get up here any way you like. Um, easiest way is usually over here, and plus it's closer to where I actually go to um, oh. to get up into the trees. Because you gotta get up in there in order to knock the berries down. So about right here on your map is where I am um, to get to find, there's this cord. And also you see this cord that's going and you'll find a little base right here. And it's more training spiders. So you can see that there are some berries that are on the ground that you can get, that are pretty close to you that you can get to. Um, and that way you don't have to climb up, but it, it takes a long time to just if you're gonna go be going like one berry at a time It's gonna take way 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 too long So now that you found the core you're gonna come over here. You see this stick Because a lot of people have problems like getting to the berries and it's understandable because there's a lot of stuff that you have to look for <clears throat> As you can see this place is just swimming with berries And once you come up this stick, if you come over here, you can find boom, you can find this little station right here. So what you want to do is you want to just continue on. You're going to be following these uh, the branches all the way over until you're getting to, you're getting to that bird bath. You know you're going the right way. I mean it's 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 kind of hard to miss. On the way you're going to want to be knocking down berries because as you're knocking down berries that's more berries that are on the ground and you're getting leather from. So here's a juice thing right here. You can come up here and like kind of top off your stuff. That slurp it. Kind of a juice box of life. 
So, as you're continue, you want to continue to follow this cord, right? And you're gonna use a hammer, or whatever, just to be knocking down these berries. Not a hammer, but an axe. Like, gotta get a little close. And also remember to constantly be saving because it's easy to fall down, and if you fall down, you're kind of screwed. You don't want to deal with that. Joke it down, Pete. Ugh. It's worse than Dad's Brussels sprouts. I actually just noticed that I was so close to dying. But anyways, you're just gonna continue to follow the trail. If you're seeing mushrooms and all and all that kind of stuff, then you know that you're on the right on the right path. But essentially, what you want to be doing is you want to be making your way to the bird bath. Right here. As you can see, the bird bath is covered in berries, and that is the easiest way to get the berries, so that you're not having to be down there fighting the orb weavers. Um, you don't really want to dunk the berries in here because you can't cut them up underwater. So what you want to do is there's going to be a berry here, there's going to be three berries right here, and you're you're just going to be swimming in berries like after a while. This is the best. This is definitely the best place to go for berries. So now that you've got your berry leather, you want to figure out how to get to that base that I showed you earlier. Kind of tough because it's also covered in orb weavers, but let's go ahead and get there. Oh, uh, you walk up here to, in order to get these berries. So again, berries, since they're so hard to get up here and get to, you might as well be knocking down as many as you can. Like, there's no reason not to. Also, you definitely want to bring a glider with you. I can't imagine doing this without a glider, to be honest. Also, I hope you're good at, uh, I hope you're good at platforming in order to do this. Anyways, as we can see, there's an orb weaver over here. Gonna be tough to get through. So. so now, as you can see, we've made our way to the uh, to the hedge lab. So if you look right here, we came from the bird bath. We came down here. You're gonna need. You don't need a glider, but it's super helpful. You can drop down to right here. And boom. You're into the you're into the lab that you could remember all the doors was locked so you couldn't currently get in here um, I'm not gonna show off everything this place is locked so there's not much that you can do right here but you are in here I mean just kind of cool but I'm gonna show you how you can actually get inside the lab and see some things and do more there is a actually another breach that is much more hidden than that Also, I do kind of recommend bringing more than one glider because they break pretty quickly. So, if you don't bring more than one glider, you can kind of screw yourself. All right, so now we are on the center of the base. You saw how I got over here. But if you look right here, You'll see, it's kind of hard to see, but you'll see another breach right there. See the breach? So you're going to have to jump into it. What I always recommend is save before you do it. Like, I would save right here. Oh, I'll just go ahead and do it. Save. Because you can miss this. I've, I've missed this jump multiple times. In fact, I'll probably miss it right now. Alright. So you, if you jump from the lower lip, you'll get in here. But anyway, so this is the where you can see more of the base. There's an unlock thing. I, I don't want to show off too much because, you know, that's kind of the point of playing this game and exploring. But so those are the ways to get inside of this base that you see. We saw from the ground and all the doors were locked. So I'm thinking that this, um, you're not supposed to get in here yet, but they have these breaches for some reason or another. So, but most, some places are still open and there is a collectible you can get in here. Like I said, again, I'm not gonna spoil it. Um, you can pull that lever. There's all kinds of stuff in here, but most of the stuff still does say stay locked. So I think that you're probably not supposed to be here yet, but if you hardcore parkour your way through, you can get in. 
but yeah so there you go you got your barrier leather and we got inside of this secret hedge base um hopefully you got that helped you guys out if it did maybe leave a like uh, but yeah other than that i'll see you guys next time Bye bye